Immersive simulation with standardized patient and high fidelity simulators was implemented with much success as a teaching and learning strategy. The simulation training center represents a fully equipped general hospital ward, a maternity ward, an ICU setting and even a realistic portrayal of an informal housing environment. Human patient simulators that range from task trainers to high fidelity mannequins are essential to facilitate learning through simulation. In the event of standardized patient simulations, students from the Department of Drama act as patients. Technicians control simulated scenarios from a control room where they are able to observe the actions of the students. Simulators can also be controlled at the bedside by using a tablet. All high fidelity simulators, namely the adult, pediatric and birthing mom simulators are equipped with software that allows for the replication of physiological features such as a heartbeat, breathing sounds, pupil reaction to light and skin discoloration. Vital signs and other necessary information are displayed on a monitor at the patient's bedside. Through voice streaming, an operator can communicate with a student and react to student interventions. We can also practice invasive procedures such as intravenous line placement, catheterization and endotracheal intubation. Through the technique of moulage, a more realistic portrayal of clinical signs and symptoms can be displayed which enables students to base their decisions on what they observe. Our students receive hands-on training with real-life simulations where experienced professional facilitators coach the students through realistic scenarios that range from routine nursing tasks to more advanced and emergency situations. Push. You see. One of the main advantages see, of simulation is that the simulator reacts to students' interventions. The student and the simulator have a conversation and the student engage with the nursing process faster. Simulation is not just about skills training. It is also about giving the students the opportunity to practice their interpersonal nursing skills. Many nursing activities are so complicated that they have to be practiced many times. With simulation, the student can repeat skills training as often as they need to. It is a safe environment to make mistakes and to correct these in simulation and not later on a real-life patient. The element of competence entails knowledge that which we say is in the head. But not only would we have that, we have to have the skills and the professional behavior. So for me, to complete competence is where we bring in the issue of simulation. You can go back, you can look at your mistakes, and you can improve on them and redo them so that when it actually happens with a real life person, you are 100% sure of what you want to do and have to do. Gain knowledge, you gain skills, and then um, it also equip you or, or you become more competent in what you do. Immersive simulations follow a structured approach of briefing, doing a debriefing which are video recorded. The recordings are available to students to review the simulation and reflect on their performance. Students learn most through the well-structured debriefing sessions that are facilitated by skilled facilitators.